and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine, and today's video is a tad different than the usual content, but I've gotten lots of questions about it, so let's make a video, right? Right. Today's video is all about how to make a TikTok, just a basic, simple TikTok, because there are some things I didn't know how to do at first that I'm going to teach you. What I normally talk about on this channel is teach you online, how to make money online so that you can travel, just travel the world, live your best life, right? So if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. I have tons of videos about it and tons of videos to come and this TikTok video actually relates to that because I've been able to just grow my online presence, I've been able to reach students through TikTok, I've been able to uh, refer teachers on TikTok, it has been such an incredible tool for me plus like i just i met so many people through tiktok like i love tiktok i was definitely that millennial that was like um tiktok no thanks maybe i'll watch a couple i'll never have one and then june 1st i was like you know what i'm gonna do it and here we are today at almost 13,000 followers on the tiktok so thank you so much for anyone that subscribed and if you have not already please go ahead and subscribe to or follow me on tiktok it's kat davis with three S's, so, and subscribe to the channel, you know, yeah. just a lot of plugs here today, but thanks, it really does mean a lot to me, and I love you, so thank you for that, but yeah, so I'm going to tell you how I make a TikTok, and if you're interested in this, please leave a comment down below, so that I know to make more of these types of videos, more t videos based on TikTok, and if you're not into it, just comment down below, no bueno, <laughs> or a taco emoji I don't know something something that's not like yes girl keep going with your TikTok stuff okay that's just what I want to know so anyway let's let's start sorry for the long intro um so first of all something I highly recommend that has changed my life I've mentioned this in my pawfish videos if you watch my pawfish videos is this iPhone stand I am obsessed with this iPhone stand it is a tad expensive it was $50 but for what I do you know, make TikToks and I teach on Palfish, this has been a lifesaver for me. You can also stick your iPad in here if you like, but I love it. This stand can like, it can be about like two feet tall. It's pretty tall. It can also shrink to about the height that it was at. Um, and then it has this nifty thing. You literally just pull these little straps down and you can stick your phone or your iPad. Like I said, that's really wonky. There we go. And you can turn it whichever way, you can angle it and it stays in place. I've had a lot of phone stands before that like have really wobbly bases and like the stand doesn't stand up but this one is fantastic and I love it so again cannot recommend the stand enough I have it linked in the description it is an affiliate link so by using that you're helping your girl and I appreciate this it's a help help situation you know I help you you help me it just makes the world go round I feel like that's a Barney song but anyway we're gonna move on so I actually need to make TikToks for today. I typically make anywhere from one to three a day, sometimes four or five if we're feeling crazy, but today I'm just going to make three. So let's get into TikTok. Wow. 48 notifications. Lots of things. Um, but yes, this is my TikTok profile. Again, I freaking love TikTok. <gasps> um... And like I said, if you want me to, to go make more videos about how I've grown or anything like that, please let a girl know, okay? Okay, let's start with, let, and again, this is just basic stuff. This is what I started off doing. I just hit, oh, hello. I just hit this little plus sign in the middle at the bottom. So you hit that, and hello, it's me. So to film a TikTok, you just hit this little red button. And, but before we do that, we need to decide if this TikTok's going to be 15 seconds or 60 seconds. And it pretty much just depends on what I'm talking about. Like, if I have a lot to say, I'll probably hit 60 seconds. It doesn't have to be fully 60 seconds. It can be 35 seconds. It can be 17 seconds. But if you know, if you're scared you're going to talk a little bit longer than 15 seconds, then just do that. Um, I would say the best performing TikToks are under 15 seconds. There's a tip for you. <laughs> but... Yeah, so once you've decided, I'm just going to stick with 15. There are effects, so you can choose effects. There's some pretty cool things, like this blingy one. Anything white, it turns blingy. There's also this one. I really like <laughs> this one a lot for some reason. Um, oh, that's terrifying. I look like a demon, so no thank you. What is this? Oh, that's fun. What is this? Anyway, there are literally hundreds of thousands of uh, filters. If you don't want to filter either don't press that or 
you know, don't press the little effects thing. Just hit this little no no sign. I don't know what to call it. But just hit that and all the filters go away. You can also swipe to make filters. Um, I do this all the time on accident. I actually had a filter on here forever and I did not know it was a filter. I just thought TikTok was weird. So anyway, that's that. So let's just do a basic one where I'm talking and I'll tell you how to add sound and text. So hello, I'm Catherine, blah, 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 the end. So then once you're done, you can always pause it if you want to add more. So I just hit the done because I was done recording, but I can always hit it again and film more and film more. And if I want to review them, I just hit this little red check and I can watch them. Let me go back. So if you're fine with that, you can hit the next button down at the bottom. Oh no. Hello, Sorry. Catherine. So if you're done with that, or you're fine with that, hit the little red thing. It'll bring you here. Hello, Catherine. Um, blah, blah, blah. I like to mute it because it gets annoying because you can't pause it in the editing phase for some reason. It's very frustrating. So if you want to add text, just hit this little text button and I'll just say, hi, I'm Cat. Oh, can't spell Catherine. Catherine. I want the C capitalized because I'm extra. So there's all these different fonts. You can just click on it, you know, all these different ones. Let's do neon. Um, oh, well, let's do classic. I pretty much stay on classic. I don't really stray. And then you can pick what color you want it to be. Um, I want it to be pink. It's a very light pink. And then you can also hit this little capitalized A with the box around it and it does all these different it's like it's like a sub font to the main font if that makes sense but you can just keep clicking it and all these different forms will come up and once you're happy with one just stay with it and it's fine so once you have what you want to say I just kind of like move it to wherever I want it to um, and say I want it there and then I let's do another one that says link in bio another thing that I type on almost all of my TikToks so I want that font and I want this and I want it right there so how do you make it how do you decide how long or how can you make this text stay there and then go away let me show you so I just click on one of them what I like to do is any text that I want on my TikTok I go ahead and put um, but I'm fine with this text it's fine but once I'm done just because I don't want to hear my voice a million times say the same thing over and over and over again that's why I put all the text at once and then once I'm done I click one of them and I hit set duration so let's see I want it just I want link in bio to start on this second clip right there and then so see that red that's how long the link in bio is gonna stay up I pretty much want it all the way there this little white toggle thing you can move it to different parts of it it's it's kind of hard sometimes because sometimes it sticks to this and then it'll it'll move the red thing more which you don't want um but yeah then i'll just put this here so i can make the i'm catherine so see now i'm gonna do this one until the link in bio comes up and then you can hit this little play button to see let's turn it up and film more hello i'm catherine blah 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 the end so and Yep. And when you're done, just hit that little check. Let me mute it again. And then, yeah. And if you're happy with it, you're happy with it. You're good. Then if you want to add music, I guess we need the sound again. Just hit the sounds button at the bottom. And there's a bunch of them that come up that they recommend. They're usually pretty popular. Or you can hit, I usually hit more because I want to see what else is going on. You know, pretty much at that point, all the ones that they're offering are kind of old news, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, I like to see what else is out there. I also have a favorites tab, which I'll show you how to add favorite sounds in a little bit. But, yeah, I'll just pick a sound. Let's just do this one, the Adams Family. So, I picked that one, and then I don't want, you know, it to overpower what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. So, hit volume. So, original sound is you, and then added sound is the sound that you just picked. So, I typically put it on like 8 or 9 or 10, because um, typically what I'm saying is 
relatively important information for, you know, I really want to get my point across, so, um, but I want the sound there to attract other audiences, and, I don't know, it's just more enjoyable if there's music in the back, right? So, and then stickers, like, you can do all these if you want. I almost never do stickers. I don't think I've ever done stickers. But, yeah, um, yeah, so, next. And then from there, you can, you know, you'll type in your description, you can add hashtags, it'll always tell you all these little emoji things, like the thumbs up, or things that TikTok's promoting, the fire sign is, are things, you know, that they're promoting, but are just like trending, kind of. Um, the likes are pay promotions, you know, so if you're using any of these, um, you know, TikTok will favor your TikToks more, but... Um, unless it really has anything to do with my TikToks, I don't use them because this is what I think. I don't think it, uh, like if I was supposed to, if I use doggy anthem to this BS that I just made, it's going to be like, that has nothing to do with dogs or whatever the heck a doggy anthem is. And I, it's going to not show my video as much. Now, sometimes it works for people. I don't know, but that's just, that's just what I've experienced, so I typically don't use that. You can also select cover, just, you know, whatever. I try to hit, like, an exciting TikTok part. That That's fine. And then you can put, like, a cover. Like, hello. And you can make it bigger and put it anywhere. So, and then hit save. And then if you want to post it now... Um, you can hit post. There's also all these other things. I always save my TikToks to my device so that I have them. I allow comments. I don't allow duets because I don't want anyone to duet my my stuff. I just don't. Um, and I honestly don't know what Switch is. But anyway. You can also automatically share to Instagram or Snapchat or any of these. Um, I typically don't do that either. So anyway, if you want to post later, as in you're not going to post immediately, hit drafts. And then it's saved in drafts, so that when you want to go back and post it, you can just hit it, hit this, and then you can hit post. But obviously, I'm just gonna um, delete this. <laughs> um, delete, delete. So yeah. So how I find, so that's pretty much how to make a basic TikTok. Um, how I find sounds is I pretty much just. It's when I'm scrolling TikTok on my usual, and I find, you know, a sound I really like, then... Oh. Oh. Look at the dog. Like, say I don't want to use this sound, but let's just for uh, informative purposes, let's say I do. So, I would click that little record in the bottom right-hand corner. And it'll bring me to this page, and it shows me all the TikToks that has, anyone has ever used this sound for. So, what I would do, if I wanted to add it to my favorites, is I would just hit this button, Add it to Favorites. Um, so then, like I was showing you before, on that little sound page, I can just hit Favorites, and this sound will be there, and I can just choose that sound. So, if I wanted to use this sound, I can hit Use Sound, and let's just start a TikTok. So, th these are those um, audio things that you hear, like when like people are just voicing you know lip syncing the words and they're not actually talking that's this is how you do that um so anything that you're doing will not be picked up on the audio on tiktok pretty much it's just the audio that you picked so um but yeah and then for these i usually do a timer i usually do a timer anyway i forgot to show you all this um but you can do it set it for three seconds or ten seconds and it's just gonna like count down um, and you can also use this little toggle thing, like if I just wanted to re record this and then make a transition, I can make it stop there. Um, so let's say I just wanted that part, so to that on that, it repeats it a bunch of times um, until you hit start countdown. And then I do my best. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> but it's fine. So, and then of course, like there's still lots of that sound left, so if I wanted to continue, I would just hit start countdown again, and it would continue the sound. There you go. So you can stop it, you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you do it. Um, so yeah. 
And again, you can still use effects or in the text and the, everything that I showed you for that. But obviously, I don't want that. So, yeah, I think that pretty much goes over the TikTok basics for you. Again, if you like more of these videos about TikTok or how I've grown on TikTok, please drop a comment down below. Also, no matter how old you are, even if you're... I mean, there's really young kids on there. I've seen, like, 11-year-olds and stuff. But even if... Whether you're 11 or 162, and trust me, I've seen many 100-year-olds. Not just 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I've seen 100-year-olds on this platform as well. It's not just for Gen Zers or Millennials. It's for really anyone. So no matter how old you are, please don't be afraid to jump into TikTok. I think it's such a great platform. It is so much fun. And the algorithm is right right now, so take advantage, okay? Okay. But again, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.